Hey, what's up everybody? Too Tall Toby here, and in today's SolidWorks quick tip, we're gonna talk about the zonal section view command. Now, the zonal section view command is a very useful command in SolidWorks. What it lets you do is it lets you say that I just want to remove this one quarter of the assembly, and I wanna section the remaining components. Now, normally when you perform a section view in SolidWorks, you can see you can remove one half of the assembly, or you can choose this button here for section plane number two, and I'll make that my right plane. So now you can see that I'm removing three quarters of the assembly, but this isn't what I want. What I want to do is I want to include three quarters of the assembly, and I just want to remove this kind of front left corner of the assembly. I just want to include that as part of the section. I just want to really remove that geometry as part of the section view. And this is exactly what the zonal section view tool is supposed to do. Unfortunately, when I enter into my section view command, I find that the zonal section view tool is grayed out. It is not available. Now, I know I'm not alone in my plight here. I've seen this question come up on Discord. I've seen this question come up on on Reddit, how come I can't create a zonal section view or why is my zonal section view tool grayed out? And I've done some research on this topic and what I found is that it says it has something to do with your graphics card or your driver or your graphics card not being listed in the registry. And look, I'm a certified SolidWorks expert. I did tech support for a long time. This is one that, that stumps me over and over again. I have a certified graphics card. I have a certified driver, yet zonal section is still not available for me. So for whatever reason, some users just get blocked from using this tool. I don't know what the reason is. If you have any thoughts on this, if you've run into this before, let me know down in the comments. If you know what the solution is, let me know that too. I've run updated drivers. I've run patches. I just can't get this option to show up. However, what I have found by just kind of, you know, uh, being stubborn and going through and kind of clicking on every possible option, what I have found is that if you, if you, there is a workaround, what I have found is that there is a workaround. If you go down here to the very bottom of the property manager and you hit this check mark that says transparently section components, when you hit that check mark, transparent sectioning requires zonal sectioning. Wait, wait. Transparent sectioning requires zonal sectioning. Sweet, that's what I want. Switching to zonal sectioning, yes, do it, let's go. So you say okay here, and then what you're gonna see is that when you go back up to the top, now zonal sectioning is enabled. It's kind of like force enabled here, and it doesn't quite work right. You still run into some little hiccups along the way. I'll show you some of those at the end. But what you can now do is you can enable zonal sectioning. So what I usually do to get this to work is I just uncheck the option for section two, and then I check that option on again. And once I check that option on again and I pick the right plane, now we can see that we can grab this arrow and drag it through and look at that. We have enabled zonal sectioning. So even though supposedly my graphics card can't handle it and that's why it's grayed out, look at this, magically it works. So I don't know if this is just SolidWorks being SolidWorks or what, but I don't really care. I'm trying to get a good section view so I can show this to my customer and this is my workaround. And if you try this and it works for you, be sure to like this video, be sure to subscribe to this channel. So some other things that I like to do with my zonal section view are examine some of these options down here like we've got this option for section by component and with this option here what we can do is we can click on a component like this base and we can say that we don't want that to be included in the actual section view so here you see the full base and then here, if I click on it again, now it's being included as part of that zonal section. We can also use this option down here, kind of where we started the transparently section components. And so what this does is if we again click on the base, instead of it being shown in solid, it gets shown with transparency. And I think this is a really good way to convey to your customers what's going on with this assembly. So maybe we adjust the transparency slider here to like 75%. And we could also include this pad here. And then maybe if we go back up to the components that we want solid, we could include this screw here. So the screw doesn't just like stop and get cut off, but we could include the screw here and then show the screw as a completed component. And when you're done, you can hit the green check mark and look at that. 
We've got a very nice section view here. It is a zonal section view. It looks beautiful. And uh, I'm really happy with these results. And this way I can take this and maybe save this off as a PNG, an image file with transparency. And that way I could drop it into a PowerPoint and then share it with my customer in the next design review meeting. So I really am a huge fan of the zonal section view tool command. I wish that it wasn't quite so hard to access in some of the newer builds of SolidWorks, but hopefully eventually SolidWorks will get this worked out and it'll just work for everyone. Now, I did mention that there are some hiccups that you'll sometimes run into when you use this workaround and the biggest one is if you right click in the background and you say section view properties it tends to kind of jump back to the planar section view function so you'll notice now that that it's only showing one quarter of the model instead of showing three quarters of the model so you sometimes have to kind of start all over again to get back to where you were you know again it's a workaround just something to know about and uh if this happens maybe you just gotta start over and, and kind of go back through and re-establish your settings for that section view so be on the lookout for that one let me know down in the comments what you thought about this video let me know if you've run into this before and of course if you're interested in learning more about the wonderful world of solidworks check out our solidworks zero to hero training program where we take you through all the steps that you need to go from knowing very little about solidworks up to getting your certified SOLIDWORKS professional certification. So if that sounds good to you, take a look at the links down below in the description. Be sure to like the video, be sure to subscribe, and I will see everyone in the next SOLIDWORKS Quick Tip. See you, everybody.